Sri Alam Temshi Jamir, CEO, Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland. I believe India is the first country in the world to make the corporate social responsibility mandatory. And this policy enables business to invest their profits into development activities. This is a win-win situation for everyone. And it gives an opportunity to the corporate to participate in the, in the development of the country and an opportunity to expand their market and it supplements the government efforts for development through private enterprise, innovations and spirit. We have not been able to attract sufficient attention on companies to take up sufficient projects from their CSR obligations in Nagaland. It is a place where traditions and customs harmoniously coexist with the changing times. English being the official language and the medium of instruction in schools and colleges, the young people are good in soft skills and have special talent in music and singing that will be on display after uh, this formal program. The economy of Nagaland at present revolves around agriculture and services in which government services have a significant share. In the state, DGP, uh, state GDP as in 21-22, services contributed 61% and agriculture 27% while the contribution of manufacturing activities, including construction, is only 11%. Atalji said was, he said, okay, what has happened has happened, but this is the moment for reconciliation. This is the time we have to build bridges, reconcile, connect, heal, and work on peace making. And that was one of the things which got on very strongly. You know, just a few days back, just a couple of weeks back, a few of the members from the Azim Premji Foundation came to visit our organization and I took them to a very remote village. And it was just two hours from Burma and we were there in this remote village. And the headman stood up and he welcomed them. It was a very lavish welcome, the Naga way of welcoming. The gunfires were there, the dancing was there. It was a very lavish welcome. In our research, it has come out that Nagaland seems to be at a tipping point when it comes to entrepreneurship because there's a very young generation which is uh, very keen to take up entrepreneurship um, and, and you know changing uh, the, the course entrepreneurship is taking. Um, and at the same time, uh, Nagaland is uniquely positioned because the women, the female uh, labor force participation rate in the state is very high. It stands at 44.7 percent, which is more than double that of uh, the average Indian rate for average India. So it's a sign that women in Nagaland are empowered and they are uniquely positioned to become stronger and take up entrepreneurship um, going forward. Honorable Chief Minister releases the book. May we all put our hands together in launching of the book called Novel Opportunities Abound by Invest India and Idol.